is Miss Amanda and I'm missing you guys so, so, so very much. I want to remind you friends to continue doing your part by staying inside, being safe and washing those hands and listening to our leaders. I have a really important question for you friends. Who loves you? God loves you. That's right. And how much does God love you? Does he love you this much? No. Does he love you this much? No. Does he love you this much? Yes, he loves you so, so very much. And that's really, really awesome, isn't it, friends? <laughs> yes. Today we're going to hear about a story that's a true story that comes from the Bible. And it's about a woman named Esther. Can you guys say Esther? Esther, that's right. And we're learning about how God has a very special plan for her. And it's an amazing plan. And just like God has a special plan for Esther in this Bible story, who else does he have a special plan for? That's right. For you, for me, and for everyone. He has an amazing, amazing plan. And I don't know about you, friends, but that is something to celebrate and cheer about. On the count of three, I want you guys to jump up with me. One, two, three. Hooray! Okay, one more time, friends. One, two, three. Hooray! Who has a plan for you? That's right. God has a plan for you. I'm going to ask you one more time, but this time I want you to say it as loud as you can. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for you. That's right. And is it just for just for you or is it for everyone? On the count of three, I want you to tell me one, two, three, everyone. That's right, friends. And he loves us so, so very much that not only does he have an amazing plan for us, but he wants what's best for each and every single one of us. And that is an amazing God that we have and that we serve. On the count of three, friends, we're going to say our memory verse, and it comes from Romans 8, 39. Here you go, friends. Ready? Nothing can separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Let's say it again. Nothing can separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Okay, this time.
Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. There we go. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Just going over the blueprint plan for my latest project. Can you guess what I'm going to build? Hmm? <laughs> it's a skateboard ramp. My neighbor asked me to build one for his son. But before I build anything, I always make a plan like this one, so I'll know what to build step by step. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a queen named Esther. Now, a queen needs a castle, right? So, hold on one second. There we go. Esther loved God. She knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Now, this is Haman. He worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, he had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that the king should get rid of a whole group of people, God's people. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know, but the people Haman wanted to get rid of were her friends and family. They loved God just like she did. Oh no, that's so sad. Show me your sad face. Well, what should she do? Esther was scared that if she went to the king, he might get mad at her. But then, her cousin Mordecai came to tell her something. He reminded her that God loved her and had a plan for her. She could trust God. God loves you, Esther, Mordecai said. You're special. You were made for this. So Esther trusted God's plan. She went to the king and asked him to save her friends and family. And guess what? The king said, yes! Hooray! <laughs> Way to go, Esther! God had a plan for Esther, and God has a plan for you too, because God loves you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. All right, my friends, hands in the air and clap. Hold on for a prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for having an amazing plan for Esther and our Bible story, but also for each and every single one of us, Lord. We know that you have our best interests at heart, and we thank you and we love you so much. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Just know, my kind of friends, that I'm loving on you guys. I'm thinking of you and I'm praying for you and I miss you so, so much. Air hugs. Mwah. Bye. See you next time.